Welcome to Inside HPC. I understand you had some, some news recently concerning uh, adaptive computing and some financing. Can you tell us more about that? Yes, we're very excited about that. Um, it was Tuesday, September the 14th, and we announced we've taken our very first external funding into the company. Mm -hmm. um, as you probably know, we've been in business for about 10 years, and we've privately held and profitable, but to fulfill some of the ambitious plans that we've got we wanted to go beyond our organic growth rates and so we've just received series a first round funding mm -hmm. led by intel capital yeah. along with tudor ventures and epic ventures to the tune of 14 million dollars so what does this mean for like a hpc customer does this mean you're going to abandon them and go off to make money in the cloud not at all we're certainly going off to make money in the cloud but the, the challenge that we have as a company, today we're at about 70 people worldwide and we've got a very strong pipeline, both in HPC pro projects and also increasingly in cloud projects, some mm -hmm. for HPC and some for commercial enterprise. Yeah. And the challenge we have today is we just don't have enough people to fulfill that business. So what this allows us to do is to expand our scope of operations, firstly to build out our team to support cloud marketplace, mm -hmm. both private mm -hmm. and public cloud customers. Yes. Also to expand our scope of operations internationally, so we'll be able to build out our teams in Europe and expand further with a new team for Asia Pacific. But what it allows us to do, specifically for HPC, is to focus on HPC separately from the cloud work and not have the cloud detracting from HPC. Now at the end of the day, this is more about go to market than it is about technology. Uh -huh. Because the technology basis for what we do is pretty much the same for HPC as it is for cloud. It's all about supporting very, very large complex data centers and the intelligence that enables you to run them well. And that's pretty much common. The workloads differ a little bit between the two markets. But most of the difference in approach is actually how we take that product, that technology to market, different types of customers, different types of businesses, and they need different approaches and different specialist skills. Sure. So why is this news good news for HPC? It's good news because it makes us stronger as a company. It allows us to expand our resources and we can really focus where it counts. Now, what is, I think, good for HPC is that the needs of commercial enterprise data centers and clouds with these large consolidated data centers that are being put in place, these systems from an infrastructure point of view look very much like large HPC facilities mm -hmm. and therefore we've now got two different markets bringing revenue into the company which allow us to grow yet it's still focusing all of our efforts on a base technology set which benefits both of them. I think we're going to have a very exciting period going forwards. Um, on the HPC front, we've been doing quite a lot of work with Microsoft recently, and this is in the area of having hybrid HPC facilities, where effectively people are mixing Linux and Windows HPC server in their environments and using Moab, then on top of a common x86 platform, we're just able to reprovision systems to whatever flavor of Linux or Windows or Mix is required. Mm -hmm. And in the next few days, you'll be seeing some announcements coming from Microsoft of course, we'll be hopefully introducing some new customer wins and stories in the time between now and supercomputing. And so I think keep in touch, keep watching us, and please come and visit us at Supercomputing 010 in New Orleans.